Okay, now I'm going to show you one of the really wonderfully powerful features of Cubase that many folks initially don't learn it, avoid it, because they feel it's going to be too complicated to learn. It's not. And we're going to make it as easy as possible for you to understand, and that's automation. And automation can control everything we're seeing on the screen here, including the EQ, the effects, the upward gear, the inserts, everything. And what automation does is enables things to change as the mix progresses, which back in the old days, we used to have to have a number of different hands on the mixing console and change the parts as they came up, which, of course, for one man with two hands, that's awfully difficult to do on some mixes that are very complex. So automation enables you to program those changes in and have them re repeat identically on every take. It's a great feature. Now let me show you how to use it. In order to use automation, the first thing you want to do is go down here and turn on write automation. You know it's on when you see the red button as opposed to just the blue one. Make sure you're at the beginning of the mix. And anything can be automated here. Now notice when I hit play, I'm not having to hit record in order to do this. Hit play. Anything I change, I can play the very beginning of this, including our EQ settings or volume. See that? Hit stop, go back to the beginning, turn off write automation. Turn on Read Automation. Back at the beginning, hit Play. And that's happening automatically. It's being automated. Notice the volume next. This, this is a very powerful feature when you have a complex mix or even something simple enough, for instance, where let's say the guitar player goes into a solo. The solo is just not loud enough, but the rhythm part is. Essentially, you could program the change in volume, have the volume come up, come down, and automatically it will re re reproduce that every time. Isn't that great? Okay, now if that isn't enough, check this out. We can actually go into a mode where we have both read automation and write automation functioning simultaneously. So what we're going to see is everything we just programmed will be played back automatically. And at the same time, I'm going to the panning control here. And this is the control for the stereo field of this particular track, which means I can pan into the right, I can pan into the left, I can put it back in the center. What I'm going to do is change that while the other effects or the other automation reproduces. Go back to the beginning, hit start, change it as you like, and you'll notice my panning from before is being reproduced while I program something completely new. Now, st we stop, go back, turn off write automation, and play it back. Now notice the panning change, the volume, and the EQ. Now they were happening exactly in the same locations as we created them. This gives you the power to do some extraordinarily unique things musically and production-wise.